Hi, Water Signs, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those of you cross watching, welcome to your Tarot Life messages. Today, we're going to take a look at and see what uh, what are your person's true feelings, their true thoughts and intentions towards you. So, what goes through their mind when they think of you, when they hear the mere mention of your name? There is going to be a part two, an extension reading available to this particular reading and the extension link is going to be provided to you just where the show more section is under the video below here for those of you that are interested in a personalized tarot reading with myself please feel free to reach out and inquire my email address is going to be listed just below the video as well otherwise guys let's go ahead and take a look this reading here is intended for all water signs pisces cancer scorpio ascendant sun moon venus rising and of course to our cross watching buddies okay so let's go ahead and begin i want you to take a moment i want you to focus on your special person on your romantic energy here try and hold a vision of them in your mind's eye and we're going to take a look and see what are their true innermost thoughts about you okay what are their intentions for you Towers come up in reverse. What's this card? The Four of Swords. Okay. Bottom of the deck, you have the Ace of Wands, and the Ace of Wands is an energy that really crowns this reading. So there's definitely some very intense feelings that your person has towards you here. Okay, there's definitely an intense level of attraction, uh, an intense level of a connection that this person feels towards you. A lot of passion, a lot of chemistry. Oops, you can't see that. A lot of chemistry here. The sparks are definitely flying in this connection. What is it that what is it that goes through their mind? A lot of things. A lot of things, but I feel like with the tower in reverse, I'm sensing there's some sort of obstacle. Either they feel like their access to you is being restricted or there is someone or something that's getting in their way and it's sort of like preventing this person from coming forward and from really expressing their true feelings for you. This person feels like they've suddenly and very unexpectedly caught feelings for you. Maybe, you know, none of this was really planned or intentional. Maybe one day you just walked through the through their door here, they looked up, the two of you locked eyes, and then it may have been a very instant magnetic attraction, a very instant magnetic connection. This is someone who I feel like they're kind of scared of just how intensely um, and intensely and how fiercely they've developed feelings for you. They're kind of scared because it's kind of, you're someone who has shaken them, okay? You've sort of taken them by surprise. You've sort of shaken up their world and you threw, you turned everything upside down. Not in a bad way, in a good way. It's just that this person doesn't really know what you do to them, okay? You, you drive them crazy. You get them very nervous. You get them very excited to see you. They're quite anxious here. And all it takes is just one look from you guys. And it's like, Notice the lightning bolt, it's like a, a bolt of electricity, a bolt of lightning just surges through their body. All it takes is just one look from you. This is someone who, they want to get close, but I am sensing that there's some sort of access to you being restricted. Now, it could have something to do with the fact that this person maybe is not available, okay, they're in a relationship with someone else. Maybe you're not available, you're in a relationship or partnership with someone else. Could be because this is a professional work environment and the two of you are adhering to, you know, a, um, standard levels of professionalism here. But there's a lot of flames, there's a lot of flames, a lot of passion, a lot of attraction that this person here is feeling towards you. They definitely, you know, have fantasies of you. They definitely have some very vivid um, sexual fantasies of you. But how they feel and what they think of you, they're keeping it a secret, which makes sense, especially if, you know, they're committed to someone else or if this is a professional work environment. It's like this is someone who is holding back 
and it feels like they're keeping their emotions and they're keeping their feelings and their thoughts here very private honestly it feels like it's something he has been there's some sort of change maybe this person feels like you really changed like you've really shaken them to their core and you really affected them like emotionally and physically maybe this person is someone who feels like you you know their world right now there's like a certain level of chaos in their world and somehow you stepping into the scene had something to do with this not in a bad way because trust me because of the divine intervention of the tower card here whatever is happening this these feelings that the two of you are sharing and building for one another this is for your highest good it really is i think in many ways this person has never imagined that they could feel the way that they feel for you it's very intense i it's almost like they feel like the two of you have a psychic connection so um and it feels very much like there's you know you reciprocate it feels like the two of you are sort of mirroring each other but they very much feel like either so for example it's an alpha and um it could be a you so there's an alpha male and an alpha female here okay there's a lot of alpha um energies here but it feels like the two of you are sort of mirroring each other and It's, it's a very powerful psychic connection, so much so that whatever it is that the two of you feel for each other is unspoken, but there's high levels of attraction, right? It's, it feels very, this person has some intense feelings for you. They want to act on their uh, attraction towards you, but they hold themselves back. And this connection that you share is very powerful. I'm getting that it's almost psychic-like. So even though they've never spoken or they've never confirmed their feelings for you, you feel it okay you have this spoken connection in which the two of you sort of lock eyes you communicate through your eyes that's what i get for you and this person like there's a lot of communication that speaks through the eyes this person has some a very intense stare when they're not looking when you're not looking sorry they uh their stares their stares here really linger at you they feel very confused and very disorientated at the moment because it feels like if they're in a relationship here, they can't help but feel so intensely attracted to you that they want to act. They want to act out here. They want to act, you know, on their attraction towards you. They want to come close. They want to um, sort of invade your intimacy, your personal space here. This is someone who wants to be near you, who wants to be constantly around you. This person sees you as very enigmatic. You have a very enigmatic nature about you and this is i feel that this person feels like this is part of your charm okay the fact that you're so mysterious it's like whenever you're with them and again that could have something to do with the environment like you guys might just keep things very surface level but this person knows there's so much more substance and depth to this connection and to what the two of you have but it feels like they only know you you know at a certain level but they know that you're someone full of substance and someone full of depth and they want to get to know you but it's this you've got this mysterious allure that just pulls them in and to be honest with you yes you're very attracted you're coming you're very attractive sorry and you're very attracted to this person right it's mutual what you feel they feel it too trust me um and to them they think you're very good looking stunning okay they think that you're you know you've got such a beauty that i don't think they've ever seen or identified in anyone else so they hold you in awe okay this is someone who i feel like is really in awe of you and someone who is you know i see them admiring you okay they're like an admirer of yours here this is someone who places you up on a pedestal this is someone who thinks they're intimidated by your beauty and your grace and your intellect and just overall everything about you uh they also feel like you're out of their league um but at the end of the day, they feel what they feel and they can't help it, right? Uh, but going back to this, you know, this mysterious edge about you, this person wants to get to know you. And it's like they feel like they can't read you. They feel like you're a puzzle that they're trying to figure out here. There's not a lot of contact or communication here from outside 
um, this environment. Am I right? It's like, for example, if you guys work together or, you know, if they're a client or if you guys are working on some sort of contract, whatever it is, even if you guys only see each other, you know, um, in a crowd here, it just feels like there's not a lot of one one on one um, contact here. This person wants, trust me, this person wants to change that. This person wants to get some alone time with you. This is someone who wants to, they feel like fate has stepped in with you. They, you know, they really do. They feel like fate has intervened here, that they feel like destiny has brought you um, into their world. And <clears throat> They're really trying to be careful about approaching the situation and approaching their feelings for you. They want to talk. They want to open up and tell you how they feel. Or at the very least, I think they're slowly, maybe, in the, in the last couple of weeks or even the last month here, I feel like they've slowly at least dropped some hints, even if they were subtle. But at least they may have said something which might have alluded to their attraction for you. Um, I think as, you know, as time wears on, you'll find that this person come, will come out of their shell more and more with you because they too are coming across as someone who's a little bit guarded, much like yourself, okay? Someone who's a little bit more emotionally reserved. And for them to really open up and share with you their feelings, they have to be able to trust what they feel. And right now there's a veil of illusion, right? That sort of um, is thrown over this connection. So even though they feel what the, you feel, okay? And even though they sense that, you know, you're as attracted to them and you know you're definitely interested and you feel emotionally connected with this person but they want to be sure before they make any sort of move but look you do have a breakthrough that's coming in okay a breakthrough in regards to action as well as um, communication and we're going to explore these breakthroughs and when they might be coming in for you in part two of the reading we're also going to go into a little bit more depth around this situation and what exactly is hindering this union from manifesting in the way that they that it should because let me tell you the attraction the the passion the chemistry it's palpable it's undeniable it's all there so what is it that's getting in the way and how can you remove these obstacles okay so follow me down the rabbit hole um follow me to part two of the reading and that's going to be made by the extension link below for those of you interested in a personal reading please feel free to inquire thank you guys so much for your time your energy your attention please show your support to the channel by liking sharing or subscribing bye for now